I'm Dr. Robert Campbell, and I'm the director of the Center for Thoracic Insufficiency Syndrome at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. I've devoted my entire surgical career to the care of young children with thoracic insufficiency syndrome, an often lethal combination of severe spine and chest wall deformity that constricts the developing lungs of a child. Faced with a dying child with absent ribs in 1989 while in private practice, I invented a surgical implant called the Vertical Expandable Prosthetic Titanium Rib to save his life. One of the most lethal problems treated by Vector is June's asphyxiating dystrophy, in which the chest is extremely narrow from shortening of the ribs, severely compressing the lungs that are trying to grow. I joined CHOP in 2008 to form the world's first multidisciplinary center for thoracic insufficiency syndrome to better research the basis of this devastating disease in order to develop new treatments for it. This year, we are reporting on 24 June's patients treated by Vector with an average of 8.4 years follow-up, and to our surprise, survival is nearly 70% compared to 70 to 80% mortality of untreated June's. Most patients were greened off their ventilators with a huge increase in quality of life. For these patients and their families, we now have evidence that can give them hope. With funds from CHOP Research Institute, we have developed methods for assessing thoracic performance during respiration based on dynamic lung MRIs. With this revolutionary approach, parents can see why their children are struggling to breathe and how things change for the better with treatment. The ultimate payoff, though, is watching better treated children who are supposed to die in MC grow up, graduate from college, and go on to marry and have their own children. We think things will be even better in the future.